Welcome to Feature ID. In this video, you will learn how Feature ID can help you make your feature models more robust using visual explanations of defects. Say you have this feature model for cars. Unfortunately, there are a few issues with it. Some constraints are redundant because they do not change which feature configurations are possible. Some features are false optional because they are always selected when their parents are, despite being marked as optional. Yet other features are dead because they can't be selected in any valid feature configuration. Consider the feature manual, for example. It's colored red instead of the default blue because it's dead. To figure out why that is, you can get a visual explanation by clicking on it. Highlighted in red are now all the parts of the feature diagram that are involved in causing the defect. Looks like the problem lies with these two constraints and the fact that manual and automatic are alternative children of gearbox. Let's try to fix that and change the latter by making them and children instead. Good, now manual is no longer dead. However, having both a manual and an automatic gearbox doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Besides, there's still an issue with the feature automatic. It's false optional because of the same two constraints that made manual dead. This means that one of these two constraints and not the relation type are the real problem. So let's undo these changes. To help choose which one of those constraints to delete, Feature IDE offers a confidence hint. Behind the scenes, Feature IDE creates multiple explanations and picks the shortest one it can find. It also keeps track of which explanation parts occur more often. Only elements that are involved in every explanation are colored in a bright red. Elements that appear in a darker red, on the other hand, are not involved in every explanation and therefore can't be the real cause of the defect. Let's delete the last remaining candidate, the bright red constraint. Now the culprit is found and the defect is fixed. But what about bigger feature models like this one with a whopping 1000 features? The explanation might not even fit on the screen. This one, for example, could definitely use some breathing room. You can remove some clutter by right-clicking and selecting Collapse All But Explanation. This hides all the features that aren't relevant to the explanation and makes it easier to focus on those that are. Thanks for watching.